Tommy, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? I'm enjoying some ice cream. I'm looking for the dry cleaning. Well, you're at Ann's dry cleaning, that's for sure. So uh, this is some dry cleaning <laughs> with a difference. Okay, I think you're a little less frazzled than I. I want what you're having. Yeah, well, come on over and let's uh, let's try a flavor. Eric, can you help us out? If I may start you off with a palate cleanser. This is a lime and ginger sorbet. It's been a day, so I'll take a palate cleanser. Lovely. Now, you guys have two options, right? You have vegan options, so you have ice cream and sorbet? That's correct. We have some like non-dairy options, more of like a Ooh, sorbet texture. I'll Would you like sorbet. to go into those? Yes. Good thing you still Although your palate cleanser is pretty delicious. Right. Really it's good. not on the menu. Really You're welcome to order it. <laughs> um, if I may go into our raspberry rose water, and I can take that. Oh, well, this right is here. fun. I also have a strawberry ginger for you, also a sorbet. I'll take them all day. That sounds delicious. So this is like a light strawberry uh, sorbet. You get some texture from the strawberry seeds and a slight kick of ginger in the middle. Okay. So this place is pretty cool. Came in for dry cleaning. I think we need to have a conversation. I think we do. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. In the famous words of Ricky Ricardo, you have some explaining to do because I came in for dry cleaning, did not expect ice cream. So how did this get started? It happens all the time. <laughs> so Ons Dry Cleaning was here for about 10 years before we moved into the space. Um, we decided to pay homage to the history um, that's here on Adams Avenue. So we kept the name, we kept the theme, played with it as much as possible. You'll see all of our flavors um, are named after articles of clothing or different fabrics. Um, you're not the only one to bring dry cleaning. <laughs> like even the tables, right? The harmony yeah. boards, the napkin holders, or irons. It has I mean, that I love speakeasy it. kind of vibe. That's yeah. what I was gonna exactly. say. It feels like a speakeasy because from the outside you cannot tell, but this is just such a cool experience as well as delicious ice cream. Mm -hmm. oh, but yeah, when you come in, you're welcome to try um, a little bit of everything. We have a rotating menu of seven flavors, um, all named after fabrics. We start you with a palate cleanser. From there, you're welcome to try each and every one and see what you're really into. It's like a flight of drinks, <laughs> exactly. right? But instead, a bunch of different samples here. I love it. This is, so what are some of your most popular Definitely items? the most popular flavor is our cotton. It's a rice, milk, and cinnamon gelato, kind of our take on a horchata. It tastes like the milk after bowl of Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Oh, oh my gosh, <laughs> yes. I thought the olive oil flavor was delicious. Definitely. That was one of our uh, little more unique flavors. Yep. Um, that is an olive oil base with some infused rosemary. Um, tastes like a focaccia bread. A little bit of salt on top goes a long way. Gotta try it. So Jesse, how did you find out about this place? Because it's pretty tucked away, right? Yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> so I love Tajima next door for some really good ramen. And there was many times I came here later at night passing by and I thought it was a dry cleaning spot. But it smelled like waffle cups. One day I saw a long line out, I was hooked. I've been coming here ever since. <laughs> and this is such a popular street. I mean, Adams Avenue has everything. It's famous street. Yeah, Adams Avenue is super walkable. There's a lot of like awesome local businesses. Um, Hawthorne Coffee right next door. We do a lot of collaborations with them. We use their espresso, their cold brew and our gelatos. Um, as well as like Jackie's Jams is a local jam Ooh. company. We use them in a lot of our stuff. Um, and also Sugar Mama Caramels. Um, she does some lovely work like that we it. love to add in our Little club. community love. Exactly. I love that. Yeah. The for partnership, the yes. collaboration, and it's it's no wonder, right? You guys were just honored by USA Today for being yep. one of the top, top 10. 10 ice cream parlors in the country. That's correct. Yeah. I feel honored to be here. I'm glad I tried to bring my dry cleaning here. That's why there's a line out the door, right? Don't figure. Right. Yeah. Well, it's been a pleasure. I'm still a little frazzled. I'm happy that I had some ice cream. So I think I'm gonna try a little coffee next door and maybe get the mix and mingle of the two. Let's wake you up. <laughs> Sounds lovely. Coffee in the morning, ice cream at night. Make sure the kitchen's clean, then we turn out the light. Hey guys. Hi. Hey. How's it going? Well, we were just next door and I hear you have a mean affogato. Looks oh, yeah. like I have half the equation and we something got the tells rest me. For you. Yeah. you got the we, other half. Yeah, we love these guys at Ann's. You know, we always have people coming back and forth with dry cleaning for the Ann's. I it's, still haven't done still the dry cleaning. <laughs> That looks amazing. Oh my gosh, it's is it delicious. Yes. So, so tell us about the collaboration and tell us about Hawthorne Coffee. Hawthorne's been here a little over four years and we were super pumped when Anne's came in. Um, they obviously make amazing stuff and it was like right off the bat, it was an instant collaboration. We 
we pull gallons of espresso for them and they just play with it and they make something really cool out of it. And then obviously you can bring your you your ice cream, bring your, your gelato avocado over. <laughs> and your dry cleaning, it's all welcome. It all yeah. Set. Yeah. <laughs> when we got here, it was a little sleepy on this end of Adams and since I since mean, the since caffeine and the coffee are exactly, waking it up. I guess so. Um, <laughs> yeah, we've had five or six restaurants that have been that are younger than us. It's just it's such a great corner. I've been in uh, hospitality in San Diego for about 15 years, working for different companies, um, bar and restaurant companies. We're a hospitality company first, but I just fell in love with coffee. Mm. Um, we recently started a roasting company. It's called Compa Coffee Roasters. So we're roasting, sourcing beans. We bring the craft to it, but on top of that, just the focus on hospitality is number one for us. Yeah, and the quality of the coffee, right? Yeah, yeah that's of course. Good. You can't deny that. <laughs> yeah. So where are you sourcing your beans from now? We have coffees from Uganda, Ethiopia. We have a direct relationship with a farmer in El Salvador right now. Colombia, Honduras, just kind of everywhere. Wow. We work with a, a few importers and we directly import ourselves with a few farms. So it's been really fun to take that on as a new adventure. And you're very popular. I mean, it's hopping in there. Yeah, yeah. it's fun. It's right? busy. Absolutely. We are launching a new food program right now. So we did That's toast awesome. for the last couple of years. We're kind of upping out a little bit right now. So we're going to have waffles made in house. Oh, wow. And we're going to do some good paninis, different stuff like that. So just trying to get that full experience, coffee and everything that comes with it. I love it. That's Definitely great. an asset to the neighborhood, that's for sure. Now you can We're do happy coffee to be pairings here. with waffles, right? Absolutely. <laughs> and top and it, and, I and top it so a la mode, good. right? <laughs> yeah, do you guys have any plans for opening other locations as well? We do. We have a space in mind, and we're kind of working through the last steps of getting that going. Look yeah. for it. Well, it's coming. Yeah. Adams is a great start because we were saying with Anne's dry cleaning that this is such a popular street, and I love the community vibe that everybody's collaborating with, with each other. Absolutely. Yeah, we're here to, you know, we're here to support each other. Each other. We're all small businesses. We're all doing a great job in this town. It's really nice to have all these people around that are focused on the craft of doing everything that they're doing. It's fantastic. Yeah, well, we're lucky to have you because a lot of locals hit this spot and they enjoy it. Yeah. Well, absolutely. now I'm just going to stumble upon it with my dry cleaning just as an excuse to have some coffee and gelato. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. <laughs> Still haven't got it done, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> well